Of course it's a lot to take in, but I'm sure it's right. Right. Don't put them like that. Leap of imagination. We've got to be able to get hold of them. Come along. That's why I've asked Murray to come up, so that we can talk it through together. You've asked Murray to come here without consulting me. I felt I wasn't explaining things well, and I know he can. Oh, lovely, what a treat. <laughs> oh, my, your no, ladyship. Right. No, no fuss, no fuss. Just scrape me down and get me a spare nap. I'll say that. I saw your cook in the village today, Isabel. She seemed upset. Yes. Mrs Bakewell was rather unkind. It seems a pity that even in this pretty little village, people can be so unforgiving. Some people are unforgiving, others are insensitive. What time do you leave in the morning? I thought I'd get the ten o'clock. I'm meeting him for tea. You're not encouraging this. She hasn't agreed to anything yet. Ugh, Mama, talk to her. Talk to all of them. Say something sensible. Yes, let's hear how a woman's place is in the home. I do think a woman's place is eventually in the home. But I see no harm in her having some fun before she gets there. Oh, Granny, thank you. Have you changed your pills? <laughs> and another thing. I mean, Edith isn't getting any younger. I mean, <laughs> perhaps she isn't cut out for domestic life. How are your plans proceeding, Tom? I was telling Lady Grantham. My brother has a garage in Liverpool. He's asked me to go in with him. The brother who's coming to stay? Yes, Kieran. Why is he coming here? For the christening. Mm. Mr Carson, you'd better come. <laughs> May I help you? This is Mr Branson's brother. Can we fetch Mr Branson, sir? I've already sent Alfred. Oh, here they are now. Kieran, what are you doing down here? Come upstairs. Ah, I don't fancy it. Can I not stay put? Have me dinner down here. But we're all so looking forward to meeting you, Mr Branson. If you come with us, you can see your room and get changed. If you want to. And what would I change into? A pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Tommy. Can we not eat down here? They seem like a nice lot. What's the matter? You're too grand for them now. They know that I'm not. My mother-in-law has been kind enough to invite you to stay and dine. And I'll not let you snub her. Now get a move on. I know. You always said he would bring shame on this house. No, Mrs. Hughes. For once, I will hold my tongue. I thought Mr. Branson's respect for her ladyship's invitation exemplary. Well, Mr. Branson's done something right for a change. Miracles can happen. 